Hey what's going everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some more NBA news and today I'm going to be talking about the reports that the Rockets are um the Rockets are interested in trading for Timberwolves Robert Covington per Kevin O'Connor. Now, if you're a Rockets fan, you should absolutely be so excited right now. Like this is some of the best news you could hear as a Rockets fan. I feel like he would be an absolutely perfect player to join the Houston Rockets. He would literally he literally would fit every single thing that the Rockets need right now and that is a you know a th- a, a 3 and D player that can shoot threes obviously. Um that doesn't need the ball in his hands to be good and that is literally Robert Covington and I just think that would be absolutely perfect for the Rockets now. I don't necessarily know what the Rockets would give up. Obviously, I don't really feel like they have too much stuff to potentially offer the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I think the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to be pretty optimistic about trying to keep Robert Covington on the team, considering they could potentially try and use him in a trade for D'Angelo Russell. Now, Robert Covington, let's actually look at his stats this year. Currently averaging 12.5 points per game, 5.3 rebounds and 1.1 assists on 28.1 minutes per game. He's currently averaging 35.7% from three. And he's made 50 of 140. That's obviously not exactly the best um, three-point percentages. But in the previous year, he was actually averaging 37.8%. And we've round that up. That's about 38% from three, which is obviously very good numbers. And as a small forward, the, the something they really do lack, they actually had to play, um, you know, Gordon at small forward last year when it actually came to the playoffs. And even though I thought Gordon went off in the playoffs, like, he was arguably their second best player. Like, I remember people were actually saying that he had a way less usage rate than um, Chris Paul. And when they actually, you know, compared usage rates and kind of matched them up, he was actually averaging, like, very, very good numbers. And he actually got injured this year, and he wasn't playing good at all at the start of the year. And he got moved to the bench again. And Eric Gordon is currently averaging in those nine games that he actually got moved to the bench and that he played this year, 29.4 minutes per game on 10.9 points and 1.9 rebounds. And the previous year, he was averaging 16.2 points. And the previous year before that, 18. He, like, um, from remembrance, he was so good in the playoffs for the Rockets, being that kind of three. I, I'd say he was trying to be a three and D type of player, but he was obviously so small, I guess, it was for a small forward. Like, it was absolutely crazy. In those games that he played this year, he was actually averaging 28% from three, and the previous year was 36%. So, he wasn't doing good at all this year, even though I believe, genuinely believe, he would have obviously got back to his normal self. I still think, because they signed him on that big contract, they would like to use him in a trade for Robert Covington. I potentially could see it being something like Eric Gordon, and maybe a first for Robert Covington, because obviously Eric Gordon has such a big injury history, and he will be turning 31 this year, and with his, you know, big injury history, you don't really know necessarily what's going to happen, and yeah, I I just don't know if he can necessarily play a full, more than seven, I don't think he can play more than 70 games in a season, obviously, and that wouldn't seem to be a problem, but this year, he's definitely going to drop off quite a bit, I don't even know how many games he's going to play, it could be like 20 or 30, it could be a worrying sign, but if I was the Timberwolves, I might I might look at it. But again, the Rockets would have to give you so much stuff to even consider it because, yeah, as I was all saying, the Rockets are going to have to overpay. They're going to have to give up way too much stuff because Minnesota really have pretty much a grasp on also trading for potentially D'Angelo Russell and another type of player to potentially pair up with Cat and Andrew Wiggins, who have been one of the best duos in the NBA this season, which is, I didn't think I would be saying, but they actually have been, and... Yeah, I feel like they do need a player to, to to potentially partner up. But if they do get Eric Gordon, I feel like that would still be a decent player to potentially add to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And yeah, I don't really know if the Golden State Warriors would nef- necessarily be looking for Eric Gordon because of how big his contract is and all of that stuff. So I don't really know if the D'Angelo trade would necessarily be open there unless they used other um, trade assets. But yeah, I, I really don't know. Again, I feel like Eric Gordon is the only player that the uh, Houston Rockets would look to trade. I feel like they want to keep Daniel House because he's obviously on a very small contract and he's starting and actually doing okay this year. And I feel like they do want to keep, you know, PJ Tucker and ba- Ben McLemore especially because they've been 
and, and Austin Rivers even, because they've actually been very good players for their system and everything that's worked out. And yeah, I actually do really rate Austin Rivers and PJ Tucker and Ben McLemore as players, so I don't feel like they will be looking to potentially trade off those players, so I feel like it will be Eric Gordon and maybe a first and another pick. And yeah, I really highly rate Robert Covington, considering his usage rate is so low, he still manages to put up decent three-point numbers, but he's, you know, usage obviously at Minnesota when it comes to the three-point line has been pretty big this year, and I feel like it will obviously, I feel like it will slim down, or maybe it will be the same at Houston, he just get better open shots, which might even improve his three-point accuracy quite a bit, obviously, so yeah, he would be literally the perfect player for the Houston Rockets. A couple of players would be perfect for Houston. I feel like that'd be Gallinari, Robert Covington, and Kevin Love. But out of those three players, I feel like Robert Covington is just perfect for Houston. And he's a small contract player. Again, absolutely perfect. And if Houston really want to contend this year, I feel like they're currently maybe... They're, they're probably, I'd say, top eight teams in the NBA at the moment. There's obviously a couple of teams in the East that are in front, a couple of teams in the West that are in front of them. And on the standings, they're currently fifth in the West. And in the whole NBA, they are actually 11. So, yeah, they're not exactly doing good on the standings. But I feel like they're probably like the eighth best team. If they get Robert Covington, their whole team changes. They pretty much get rid of Eric Gordon, who's not even getting a game at the moment due to injuries. And just a pick or something like that for this perfect player, 3 and D type of player that they desperately need on the team. So, yeah, if Houston Rockets get him, then definitely watch out. And I feel like that'd be a, a very good player to add to the team. But yeah, they're definitely going to have to overpay for him. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA and sports content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on the Houston Rockets potentially trading for Robert Covington? Do you guys think it'd be a good idea? Do you guys think it's a bad idea? And do you guys think the Minnesota Timberwolves would trade him? Or do you guys think they would look to keep him? And what do you guys think they would have to, uh, the Houston Rockets would have to trade to get him? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MIRL slash long channel. I recently just released a Lamello Ball vlog where I actually got to meet him. So definitely go check that out. Link in the description down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.